Hey everyone, Mike and Nicole here. Over the holiday sales weekend, I saw some sites displaying uh, real-time orders. I thought it'd be a fun little thing to try out in Elm. So I've got a WebSocket server running in the background and we're streaming in items that are selling right now in this list on the left. And then we can click any of those items and add them to the list on the right. That's our wish list. So now let's say I want somebody else to kick the tires on this app. So I send it over to Nicole. Sure, I'd be happy to try it out. So I fire this up on my machine and I can see items coming in and decide which ones I want on my wish list. Ukulele, snorkel mask, I'm kind of exotic that way, a t-shirt, and some beard oil, which is not showing up on my wish list. Hey, I can't add beard oil. Did you actually click it? Yeah, I clicked it. And it didn't end up in the wish list? I clicked it and it did not end up in the wish list. I didn't click it for you. I clicked it for my brother who might want it. And this is how the conversation would have gone in the olden days, you know, a month ago before Elm 0.18. But thankfully, Nicole started the app in debug mode. So rather than explaining the steps she took to uncover this bug, she can export her entire session history so we can do a slow motion replay. So I just click export and it saves my session history as a text file, which I can then send to Mike as an attachment to a GitHub issue or via Dropbox or whatever. Now I start the app in debug mode and I don't have the WebSocket server running so we don't have any items streaming in over here, but because I'm in debug mode, I'll just go import, grab the history file, and then I can go down to explore history and we get the exact sequence of events and the current state in the model. So this is how it ended up for Nicole. The final state of the app had two lists, products had 15 and a wishes list had three in there. But let's start from the beginning and replay this. So we come back up to the top, click here. It started with a ukulele and we can just step our way and do a slow motion replay of all the things that happened. Here she added the ukulele to the wish. There came the snorkel mask. Then she added the vintage tea. Ooh, then she tried to add a product number four as a wish, but we see the wishes list isn't changing at all. So it didn't make it into that list. See, I did click it. This is great because now I can actually troubleshoot this problem with actual data. Maybe it's a browser specific thing. So I can import the session history into maybe Safari and give that a try. Or maybe it's a problem with the data and I need to talk to the backend team about that. I think you can see where this could be really useful. It feels like a real game changer. Give it a try for yourself.